With every adventure, a real story is told. From the middle of Lake Superior to inland waters and beyond. Join us as we capture imagery through a different lens. The story isn't about us. We are simply the ones who get to tell it. On the ice or on the open water, each trip is a journey worth sharing as we strive to highlight our resources, but also respect them. From pike to panfish, trout, walleyes, and more, we travel the region to bring you new content, real experiences, and hopefully a desire to venture off the ordinary path. Season two of Superior Angling starts now. Welcome to episode three of Superior Angling. We have a little different show for you here today. I wouldn't say it's informal, but it's a lot of run and gun and a lot of dealing with unforeseen circumstances. But as you guys will find out, I'd venture to say we did okay. All right, we are in the truck heading northeast because we want to ice fish on Lake Superior and around Duluth, we usually don't get ice, maybe once every three or four years. And when we do, it's in February or March, so essentially if you want to ice fish on Lake Superior, you, right now you have to drive away from Duluth, which we're doing. It's after midnight, we have about five hours ahead of us, so it will be little to no sleep and we'll be fishing hopefully if all goes right. Just got into Canada and now the check engine light is on in the truck. Never a good thing. I am not a mechanic. I consider myself more of a fisherman. Let's give on to a call. Connecting to OnStar. Come on, OnStar. I don't know if OnStar works in Canada. Hello? This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Hi, my name is Alan. How can I help you? Hello, Alan. I have a check engine light on my truck. I was wondering if you could run some diagnostics or see what it's about. Yeah, I can certainly run a diagnostic on the vehicle and see if I can get some information for you. The vehicle is currently running or in the on position, sir? Yeah, we're driving. Okay. And do you have any aftermarket data collection devices plugged into the vehicle, like a fuel tracker or an insurance monitoring device? Nope. Okay, so I am running that diagnostic for you now, sir. I'm just waiting for those results to return for you. Uh, so I did return one message from your vehicle's engine system. And what it is stating is that the engine and transmission system is not performing as expected. That's not good. An issue, an issue has been detected in the air induction system, which monitors and controls air intake to the engine. If your check engine light is flashing, a misfire condition has been detected. A misfire increases vehicle emissions and could damage the emission control system on the vehicle. It does recommend reducing your vehicle speed, avoiding steep uphill grades, and reducing any cargo loads such as a trailer. Well, I don't know what you guys got out of that, but what I got out of it was keep driving and go fishing. So I think that's what we're going to do. You have 33 years of memories in this house. The most valuable things you will ever own. And that is why we exist. Holden Insurance, an official supplier of the silver lining. Offices in Duluth, Superior, Ashland, Spooner, and Hayward. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us.
When the temperatures drop, the deals rise at RJ Sport & Cycle. Shop our great selection of Arctic Cat snowmobiles and take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months and rebates up to $2,500 on 2017 and previous models. Purchase any Yamaha snowmobile and get rebates up to $2,000 on 2017 and prior models. We sell trail riding sleds, ice fishing machines, mountain sleds, crossovers, youth models, and much more. Well, we made her, bud. The shores of Lake Superior. Up here with Tori. Gonna go try to catch some lake trout. Lake Superior behind us. We got some snow right now. Although yeah. I think the snow's gonna hold off and we got some higher pressure coming in. So it might be sunny, it might help this lake trout bite. We'll see how it goes, but we don't have a very far ride out there. It's, uh, we can kind of see where we're gonna fish. So, um, we're gonna go check the ice before we take the snowmobile and haul other gear out there. I mean, safety is number one concern out here on Lake Superior. So, but fishing should be good, huh? I mean, I'm hoping. I'm thinking so. I mean, uh, conditions have changed a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get some fish. Yeah, yeah, probably be fishing. I don't know, 60 to 90 feet of water, and the goal for today is lake trout. Maybe a few white fish mixed in. Maybe a salmon. Maybe a salmon. Yeah, you never know really what you can catch out on Lake Superior. A lot of a lot of possibilities out there, but. We made it, we're up here, it's cold, but this is what it's all about, this is fun, here we go. After a short snowmobile ride, we get out there, we set up the Otter Resort pop-up. I mean, it's freezing cold outside, negative 21, 22 degrees Fahrenheit. That's without the wind. So we got the heater going. I'm kind of messing around with some camera gear. I look over and Tori's rod's already doubled over. That didn't take long, bud. Camera lens is fogged up. We're just getting set up. Had a line in the water for 10 seconds. Fish on. Nice, not bad. That's unreal. You're not happy. Bad start, ten seconds in. First one of the day. There he is again, two seconds later. Second drop. <laughs> I told you not to put your line down again until we get more camera gear out. Unbelievable. This happened. You your lure was in the water for maybe 10 seconds total and you're on your second fish. Yeah, second drop, you know, out of nowhere they just come flying and. I'm trying to get the wireless mics hooked up. And this kid keeps catching fish. That's a good sign on a balmy morning, negative 21 Fahrenheit. That's cold. These fish don't care. Yeah, out of nowhere they just, you know, they see that spoon coming from so far. I'm pretty, uh, pretty certain they don't care what it is. They're just hungry. Yeah, and really clear water. They can see a long ways, and they eat. This one feels like a pretty good one, actually. So what you're telling me is you're gonna make me get my hands wet for you right away this morning. That's why we got heat, eh? <laughs> yeah, ideally, maybe later today we'll fish outside. But right now it's just too cold to be outside. It's nasty out there. So we'll stay in the ice house here and stay warm and hopefully continue to pluck off fish at this rate. That's incredible. <laughs> Your lure has been in the water for 10 seconds, man. Yeah, That's incredible. Pretty quick action this morning so far. That's the good part about lake trout. Cold weather, they don't care. Hoping you boys get on them now. Yeah, right? You gotta hang a little bit. wait there for a little bit. <laughs> fish on Cody right now. Try to get doubled up here. There's really one chasing cool. me up right now. See him? Yeah. He's chasing the fish that I got on right now on the screen. Try to 
There's another fish rising off bottom. <laughs> this is just chaos. Double oh, oh, oh. That's a big fish, bud. Yeah, he smacked that one. Wasn't oh, ready for that. <laughs> Fun. Loosen that drag, bud. Right here. He's some bad boys. Good morning. Well, how long have we been in the water, Grant? Uh, 35 seconds, maybe 36. Combined? <laughs> Total, yes. I haven't had my line in the water yet. Now we got another fish going down the bottom. This is insane. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. That St. Croix is uh, quite the rod. I'm impressed with that one. There he is. That's why he smacked it. He did the same thing. Swatted here. Yeah, they're they're on today, guys. This is gonna be uh, this is uh, this is awesome. That's awesome. Not a bad fish. How's that for a double? Unbelievable. Boys, this is insane. Fish are on today. This is uh, going to be a great day. Get those back, I guess. Gone. All right, boys. Well, I guess I'll be cameraman for the day. I mean, it <laughs> they were nonstop. I finally said, all right, line's out of the water. I need a chance to get after these fish. I get my rod down there, and not 10 seconds later, thunk. Double up again. This is absolutely insane. I got my line down there finally. There you go. I triple with my hand. Here. Got him. I triple <laughs> with my hand. We got a triple going. I'm jigging yeah. with my hand. I just lost him, okay? Oh, that is cool. See him way down there. Unbelievable. There. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is pure madness. It doesn't matter what you have on right now. They're eating anything. And we can't keep our lines down there. It's lake trout after lake trout. Now we got Cody over what here. What do you got, bud? He's so oh, that's a good fish. That's a nice fish. Man, is that exciting. I was just reeling up <laughs> as fast as I could. <laughs> and this thing came up and These are kamikaze it. fish. I mean, we've been fishing for 20 minutes. This What's is that, our, eight? Yeah, this is our number seven and number eight fish. I mean, it's just, I, you can't describe it through the ice. Unbelievable. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I finally got my line down there, got hit within 20 seconds. Unreal. Let's get him back. Hey, Mine's gonna good. follow yours. <laughs> Too cool. So here's a little insight into the areas that we're fishing. As you guys heard earlier in the episode, we kind of referenced there's not much ice fishing opportunity around the Duluth area on Lake Superior in January and most times February. I mean, that's just because it's wide open space. There's nothing to hold the ice in there. I mean, yes, you can get ice for a day or two and it's usually not thick enough to walk on, but you know, by that third day, we get a west wind and it blows it all out. So ice fishing on Lake Superior, you have to focus on islands because islands are gonna hold your ice together, like the Apostle Islands or up by Nipigon or, you know, past Thunder Bay, you know, there's so many islands up there and that's what holds this ice and that's what's gonna allow us ice anglers to get out there and target these fish. Okay, you've located a bunch of islands, but now what, where do you fish? Well, my general rule of thumb is you don't want to be too shallow and you don't want to be too deep. You know, two, three, four, five hundred feet of water in my mind is too deep. I mean, in snowman's land, it's a total crapshoot whether there's going to be fish there or not. So what we like to find is kind of space in between, let's say, two islands that maybe bottoms out at 120, 130 feet. And then you want to fish kind of up on one of the breaks on one of the sides of the islands. 
and what that it's kind of a, like a pinch point kind of like a little trench that goes down and you're going to have current going through there and where you have current you're going to have a constant flow of fresh fish all throughout the day we're not fishing structure i mean it's we're not fishing a rock pile where you know three trout may live we're fishing kind of a, a break off an island where there's constant water movement and you're going to have constant fish coming through and that's exactly what happened this day i mean it was non-stop all day long i mean it just that just doesn't happen that often i mean yes there's a lot of luck involved in it but you know we positioned ourselves in the right place at the right time and it all came together it's cold outside thick gloves kind of wet but your house is nice and cozy because we're still out there anytime any temp superior fuel company local safe honest we offer price protection plans that put you first for the right way to buy propane call us and find out superior fuel company you have our name on it when the temperatures drop, the deals rise at RJ Sport and Cycle. Shop our great selection of Arctic Cat snowmobiles and take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months and rebates up to $2,500 on 2017 and previous models. Purchase any Yamaha snowmobile and get rebates up to $2,000 on 2017 and prior models. We sell trail riding sleds, ice fishing machines, mountain sleds, crossovers, youth models, and much more. Everything you care about is in this house. Things you just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Holden Insurance, an official supplier of the Silver Lining. Offices in Duluth, Superior, Ashland, Spooner, and Hayward. Take control on ice this winter with the Markham Technologies PanCam camera system. This all-in-one underwater camera transmits video via Wi-Fi to your cell phone, tablet, or other mobile device, giving you increased visibility and awareness to the fish that swim below. Compatible on both iOS and Android platforms, simply download the Markham PanCam app, connect to the camera, and setup is complete. Let the PanCam do the work outside as you control, record, and view from the warmth of your fish house, up to 300 feet away. Markham Technologies, your leader on the ice. We're trying to get the big camera set up, but we can't because keep catching fish. This is insane. Casual day on the lake trout water. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Could act like this is all the time, but it's not. I mean, no, no. <laughs> this is for pretty every special day, right for now. Every day you have like this, you strike out five times. Yeah, oh no, exactly, 100%. I mean, it's pretty special when you can go out and, you know, poke 10 fish within uh this is number nine in what 15 minutes not even 15 minutes i bet there's a good one that's a thick one a little better not bad that one's uh getting a little heavier I'm sure we're gonna see some better fish today but uh Wrong goes. Get her back. What an incredible morning in the ice house that was. That's, I don't know if I've ever seen lake trout fishing through the ice quite like that. Unbelievable. It's fish after fish after fish after fish. Now we've gotten to about the noon hour here. Just came to move around outside. It's finally warming up a little bit. It was so bitterly cold this morning, you couldn't even be outside, so we had to fish inside the house. But now we're gonna 
move around outside here a little bit and see if we can get a few fish to go. No wind, it's cold, really cold, but there's no wind, so it makes it somewhat tolerable. And this is just the fun part about Lake Superior, is just the potential, you know? It's like, on an inland lake, you would not rack up those numbers just because, you know, lakes right on inland lakes mainly relate to structure, and you're not gonna have that many fish holding on a piece of structure, that's for sure, so. Out here, you just get these fish that kind of ride the current, and they just come through in waves, you know, 10, 15 trout at a time, and they stick around for 10 minutes, and you pluck three or four of them off, and they're gone, and then, not too long after, more fish come through. So, I mean, it's just, being able to ice fish on Lake Superior is so much fun. And we've had perfect weather for it late December and early January here, where a lot of parts of the lake, like this part here, are starting to freeze. And we can get out here and attack these lake trout. Out here on Lake Superior, unlike inland waters, we have a lot of current, so it's really hard to see your bait. And right now, I'm not even graphing mine because there's current just ripping in between these islands here. So you're just kinda, you know, go find bottom, kinda old school fishing. Make sure your jig's on bottom, reel up a little ways and jig away. It's kinda the anticipation too, you're not gonna graph a lot of these fish, they just fly in and whack ya. So you gotta hang on tight and be ready for when they do come by. So to compensate for not being able to See our lures, there's a few things you can do to try to be able to graph them better. I mean, obviously you can use a heavier lure, but I like to use a skinnier lure. That way the current's not gonna take it and blow it out. So maybe like a one to one and a half ounce, kind of like a Swedish pimple type spoon where it's not very wide, it's more slender and it's got a little more meat to it. So that way it's gonna stay more vertical. And then for lures, I like anything with the treble hook. I mean, you, you can use jigs and plastics, but that one single hook, you're gonna lose a lot of fish. And we've lost a lot today already as, as well on them. So it's nice using a kind of a spoon with a treble hook when you can, because your hookup percentage is really, really high. Can't lunchtime. get a minute, you know? Lunchtime fish. Got moose on in the background, jig once, boom. That's just too much Canadian for one frame. I mean, the kid's cooking moose while he's ice fishing, catching a lake trout. <laughs> Let's go to the next fish. Well, you broke the silence with the fish. Yeah, there was a lull there. And by lull, we mean a whole 20 minutes. <laughs> almost ruined the day. Oh, I almost went home. You don't always have ice out here, so you gotta enjoy it while it's here because it could be a few years before you get ice again, you know? You just never know. <laughs> oh, no, not a bad one at all. That's a nice Lake Superior lake trout. Like we were saying, cold weather, you got to get out here on Lake Superior and take advantage of this. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's early January right now, and who knows what February and March are going to bring. You know, it's, if this cold weather keeps up, we're just going to have more and more ice and more and more potential to get out here and do stuff like this all around. Hey Cody, you gotta get off this soon. You see the wave. All right, we gotta get going. Ice is breaking up. This is exactly what we were talking about, why you gotta be careful out here. You can see the waves coming under the ice right now. The whole ice is lifting up. We gotta pack up quick. That was a close call. But that's why you always gotta be watching. I mean, yes, it's nice to fish in an ice house out here, but your visibility is really limited. I mean, that's how quick it changes out here. We had a little front come through, it dropped some snow, the wind picked up, and bam, I mean, ice is, there was open water 300 yards from us. So, I mean, that's all, maybe even closer than that. So that's just, you always gotta be paying attention out here. We've moved significantly different locations, a lot safer ice. But, I mean, it's nice we have solid 10 inches. I mean, even where we were fishing, there was 8 inches, and that busted up. So, scary out here. You always got to be paying attention, watching. I mean, if you're fishing in a house, always look outside every 20 minutes, just because you truly never know what that wind and current and tide. And, I mean, there's just so many variables out here in Lake Superior, so you always got to use caution. Safety is number one. It helps to have a snowmobile with you when the ice is thick enough. That way you can move quick if you need to, like we did there. But 
literally just threw all the camera gear in the sled and went and uh yeah a lot safer ice here we're good we're gonna keep an eye on it still but uh we should be good to go so you never know out here when the temperatures drop, the deals rise at RJ Sport & Cycle. Shop our great selection of Arctic Cat snowmobiles and take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months and rebates up to $2,500 on 2017 and previous models. Purchase any Yamaha snowmobile and get rebates up to $2,000 on 2017 and prior models. We sell trail riding sleds, ice fishing machines, mountain sleds, crossovers, youth models, and much more. At Wittis Trailer Sales, it's our mission to offer you the best inventory at the lowest prices possible. Conveniently located in Esco, Minnesota, we sell all your hauling needs from tractor trailers to enclosed trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors and side-by-sides in the area. Did we mention we also sell Argo ATVs? Our dedicated service team is here to take care of all your repair needs. Stop by and enjoy friendly service and sales for all your parts, accessory, and trailer needs today. So we're set up in an area that's more protected. There's a lot thicker ice and we get the underwater cameras out. You know, we're in the afternoon, we have the sun's come out now, we have good light penetration going down there, 60, 70 feet, and we have an absolute blast watching these lake trout chase our jigs on the underwater cameras. Oh, 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 yes! Yes! That's unreal! Got him! <laughs> Dude! Oh, unreal. He came in and just pounded that plastic. Yeah, he didn't even hesitate. Want to grab the deuce, sir? Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah, he's pulling pretty good. He's good. That's good fish. Not quite done. And back down. Yeah, they have the fish coming up. Oh, 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 he's going to you. <laughs> Cody. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stop. There he is. Is he going to eat? Only oh, great on it. Right at it. Right here, come on. How don't you eat that? Look at that. Just like rubbing up against it, eh? Right here. Come on. Come on. Look at He's that. He's just man. opening his mouth, eh? He's that is so it. cool. That's good. That was nice to see that. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at this. What? Oh! He'll be back on. I don't think he stung him. There it is. Got yeah. him. Oh, Got him. That paid off. Got him. Unreal. Wow, what an incredible day is all I can say. Unbelievable. Don't forget to check us out online on Facebook and YouTube. We still have plenty of advertising options available. So if you're a business owner and you like our content, give us an email, grant at superiorangling.com.